What's going on guys, Karma here once again and today I'm going over the submachine gun that in my opinion is the best in Infinite Warfare and I'm also going to be doing a best class setup and that's going to be on the ERAD. Now when I first started this game I used assault rifles until I got the FHR 40 which is also a submachine gun which I really did enjoy in the beta but not so much in the actual game. I don't know what happened, it just fell off for me. I never really did give the ERAD or any energy weapons a chance because I'm sorry to say I didn't agree with adding energy weapons into Call of Duty because it feels just too much like Halo and I didn't really like that. Even though the ricochet off walls with energy weapons is wicked and it can surely kill a bounce right. However, we and I as a Call of Duty community have to understand that if we're fighting in space, more than likely somebody would have vented an energy weapon of some sort or at least a laser. So with all that being the case, I decided to give those energy weapons a chance and the ERAD stood out to me the most. Let me explain. When I first started using the ERAD, I immediately felt the handle of the Weevil in Black Ops 3. And in Black Ops 3, the Weevil was one of my favorite SMGs because it was steady and had some very nice fire rate. And if you have caught any of my last videos, you would know that a very nice fire rate to me is more important than higher damage, as long as you can stay fairly accurate with it. To go further into why I believe the ERAD is the best submachine gun is how easy it is to run and gun with it. Now, if you aren't a rusher, it'd still be good to use, but far better to use a run, aim, and gun strategy. Now, if you do plan on rushing with it, the best attachments you're going to be using on this are going to be Grip, Quick Draw, and Fusion Mag. This makes it overpowered because using the Grip with its already nice accuracy makes the long shots flawless in aiming. Quick Draw, in my opinion, is needed because the ADS is noticeably slow on the ERAD. And lastly, Fusion Mag because it regenerates ammo, making it much easier to get those kills racked up without running out of ammo. You can also equip Dexterity to reload faster and take off Fusion Mag for a suppressor to rush and flank behind enemies and knock them out before they even know it hits them. Now, there are plenty of attachments still to throw in the ERAD, but until I play a lot more of this game, this is going to be the setup. But keep an eye out for another best class setup video on this weapon about a few months from now because I have a feeling different combinations will make it a lot better. Alright, that about does it. If you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know by commenting below or or message me on Twitter and follow me on Twitter to stay up to date on when the next videos will be released. If you enjoyed, drop a like bomb and sub a dub to see more Infinite Warfare videos. Until next time, I say goodbye and good luck. Set my heart